Hey guys, so it is Ubi Tepo here, and I am back with basically the third word of the evening. And um, yeah, it's another quick word, beautiful word, and I love words like these because they really just show us how um, intentional the Lord is when it comes to our hearts, when it comes to our healing, and when it comes to this process of healing and sanctification, and even this process of blessing that so many of us are on right now um this is a word that is very focused to my sisters in christ but i do believe that even the men um can glean from this word so i pray that you take time really to even pause before you listen to this word pray just say a quick prayer asking the lord to ready your heart for this word um and yeah let's get straight into it amen we thank you jesus we thank you for this word and bless this word so um, let me just give you guys a little bit of background. So last month, and when I say last month, I mean July, I found myself dealing um, with a hot issue that I really thought that I didn't have to deal with, rather. Um, it was a disappointment that I had received from someone um, last year, right? And it was one of those disappoints, disappointments that, and this um, just for transparency's sake, um, it was a young man, right? So it was one of those disappointments where I felt like, oh man, it's, no, well, oh well, you know, let's keep it pushing. I didn't really feel incredibly hurt by the disappointment, even though I knew it was a disappointment. I hope that makes sense. So last month, um, I found myself remembering that disappointment and then for some reason it pained me it genuinely pained me so I sat on my bed and I was like Lord why do I feel this way about this thing because it it's not really that much of a big deal why are we dealing with this at all <laughs> you know um and then the Lord led me to John 8 now this is the story of the woman who's caught in adultery right I mean, we know the story. She's caught. They bring her to the, the to Jesus himself. And then Jesus obvi obviously says, um, he who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. But that is not even what um, I want us to talk about at all. The Lord brought me to John 8 and he had me focus on John 8 verse 8 to 9 verse 8 to 9. And I just want to read that for us quickly. So verse 8 to 9 reads, Then he stooped down again and started writing on the ground. They listened to his reply and they began to go out one by one, starting with the oldest ones until he was left alone with the woman, standing there before him in the center of the court. So as the Lord um, led me to verse 8 and 9, he began to say to me that for so many of us, and I believe, in fact, for all of us that really this word is for, we have found ourselves in this process with the Lord of healing, right? Where it genuinely felt like the Lord had to start all the way from the oldest hurt Right? And, and, and knock those hurts out, knock those disappointments out one by one by one by one until he gets to the freshest one. And that's what the Lord was saying to me that, Ubi Tepo, I've been dealing with the old ones. That is why at that moment when that disappointment happened, it didn't really feel like much because your focus and your heart and your prayers were all. Um, um, in one direction, there was a specific thing you were dealing with, but now it is time for us to deal with the new thing, the new thing. It might seem small to you, right? Keep in mind, basically, when you think about it, the fact that the word says that these men began to leave Jesus and this woman from the eldest man to the youngest, it, it, it's, it's almost like they began to leave um, from um, the most senior positions or the most... Um, I don't know how to, I want to say almost like the, it's like a hierarchy of importance, you could say. So it's like the most serious or the most regarded men, because they were the eldest men, right? I hope you guys are catching my drift. 
they were the first ones to leave and then it went down to the to the youngest so it's almost like i was dealing right with the big issues i was dealing with the things that seemed like they had um superiority right or seniority if i'm saying it correctly in your life and now right now because it's time for you to be released like the lord we had to release this woman we can now deal with the things that don't seem that much important you know in the greater scheme of things however i need to work on those things as well i need to heal you of those things as well so please do not be surprised you know I, I always say to people that healing is not a linear process. In fact, it, it, it's circular, if anything, right? Because the more you deal with, with, with what is on the outside, the more what is on the inside becomes more apparent and more apparent. So it's almost like healing is a process of, of inward, or it's an introspective process that never ends. There's always something new that you and the lord can deal with when it comes to your life so don't be surprised when you find yourself um, um being reminded about things that you felt like that that's not that much of a big deal lord why am i feeling this way about this specific thing or person or situation or disappointment and the lord is saying don't worry about it yes it it, it wasn't that big um, um when you really look at the greater grander scheme of things but i need to deal with them because the way i deal with things when it comes to you is that we dealt with the the, the oldest things the things that were that had more superiority right and they trickled down and we were dealing with all of those things now we are dealing with the younger things the things that don't really carry that much weight but because i love you so much because you need to be released because i'm about to catapult you we need to deal with those things as well so allow the lord to deal with those things those little small things that don't seem like much allow him to deal with them because guys this story with this woman right it happened in a second it happened in a second she received her freedom and her deliverance and her forgiveness her salvation within just those minutes of the lord dealing with her issues one by one from the eldest to the youngest be blessed